Welcome back from that short break. It's now, now time to look at how triangular numbers interact with the rectangular numbers. Let's go back to the previous slide right here. Okay, there we are. I'm going to pause right here. So, the beauty about digital science is that you're going to see the formations of these numbers. You see them from the screen right here. You're going to see how the numbers come to form. Yes? How does a rectangular number come to form from a triangular number? How does a triangular number come to form from a rectangular number? Yes? Then later on, we shall see how we can divide up polygons, how we can divide up shapes using the number, number patterns that you have seen. So number patterns are basic, but they occur in everything mathematics. So let's continue with this. I want you to watch closely right here. Watch this. I have, let me take it back a bit, uh, up to the beginning here, there. There, when I had uh -huh, there, right there. I have how many how many uh, small circles do I have here? The green circles that you're seeing on your screen. There are six of them. Now I'm going to pull these circles and rearrange them into a shape, into a different one. If you look at the way they are arranged now, the six of them, they're forming a triangle. So they are triangular it's a triangular number, number six. Now, if I rearrange these ones. Pause right there, let me pause it here. Voila. What do you see? Do you see how a rectangular number is formed from a triangular number? It was, just a, it was just a triangle, yes? Now, pulling those ones there, I just pull off the top and then rearrange the other ones, push them back a bit from here. You can see it, busy. You can see it very well, how a rectangular number is forming from a triangular number, which was there before, yes? Same thing occurs for the other numbers that occur in both groups. So let's go on here. We realize that, pause right here, we're going to realize that while 6 is a rectangular, a rectangular number based on 1, 2, 3 formation, yes, it is a rectangular number based on 3 by 2. Yes, 3 by 2. You have 3, 3, this is 1, 2, 3. Yes, then these are 1, 2, two rows all together. So based on the 3 by 2, it becomes rectangular. Based on the 1, 2, 3, it is a triangular number. Let's look at another number here. Okay. Here we are. We have these red ones. Yes. How many are they? If you're counting them at home. Yes. They are 10. Are they 10? Okay. 4, 3, mm -hmm. 2, 1. Okay. Yes. Let's play and see how they can form a rectangular pattern. There we are. We're just pulling them off and then we form a rectangular pattern of two rows and five columns, yes? So this is a rectangular pattern coming from a triangular number. Now that's why 10 is both rectangular and also triangular. Let's keep on, let's keep on going slowly here. Okay, another one, uh -huh. the blue ones. Okay, these ones I'm going to let you first try out at home. Try to rearrange them before Dicto Sars rearranges them for you. Let me just take it back. I'm going to give you a second just to rearrange them so that you can see how it forms. Just quickly put dots, okay? I rearrange them to form a rectangular number as they are there. All right. And here, digital science is showing you something similar to what you're doing in your book. There we are, yes? And then we add, good. This is 15, it's occurring here, and it's occurring here with how many columns? There are one, two, three, four, five columns and three rows. They are forming 15. So 15 is occurring in both rectangular and triangular. All right, so we've seen numbers that are both triangular and rectangular. These are very special numbers that are very dear to us. And these numbers are called composite numbers. Yes, these are composite numbers. These are both triangular and rectangular. They occur on either side, yes? I want you to try and make some composite numbers. So in your house right now, where you're seated, you can stand up and try to, composite, to make some composite numbers. Numbers are both triangular and rectangular. So go to form first a triangle using a shape, then from the triangle, displace it and form a rectangle. Let's start with, uh, what's, what, just look around you. What's nearest to you? If it is a, uh, some pencils in a, in a, in a pa pencil packet, if there are cups in the kitchen, uh, there are forks, uh, forks, spoons, don't touch the knives, please. 
uh, forks, spoons, anything. Pick them up and then arrange them to form a triangle because numbers are actually shapes, yes? That is how our forefathers used to, to use numbers, yes? If you look at the Egyptian, uh, Egyptian slides, you'll find there are various shapes. Actually, shapes are representing numbers. So, I want you to get a num get, just get a few, a few items from, that are around you, any items that you can use that's nearest to you. If you, have, if you have got your spoons, get a number of spoons. Arrange them to form a triangle, yes? After arranging them to form a triangle, displace the shape they will have been displacing on the screen using digital science, and then form a rectangle. That is going to help you understand better why these numbers are rectangular or triangular, yes? And why they are composite numbers. If a shape, if you arrange the numbers and it's not coming out as a rectangle, the shape of a rectangle cannot come out, then that's not a composite number. If it was a triangular number, but it's not for forming a shape of a rectangle, it's not a try out some other number. It can't be composite, yes? So, in a few minutes, just get this, just, just move somewhere, pick something, even if they're just uh, stones, small, small stones from the compound. You pick them and just rearrange them, rearrange them on your table. We arrange them in order to form a triangle. The way we saw the pool, uh, the pool balls, yes, the billiard balls. Arrange them to form a triangle. Then after, displace them. You don't have to count necessarily. You will count after. So in case it comes out, you can count and actually know that this is also a triangular number. In the exercise you're going to do at the end of the lesson, you will be able to actually list those extra numbers that you've done. You can get as many items as you can. If you are getting pebbles, you can get as many as you want. If you have uh, small, small uh, beads in the house for your young ones, you can use the beads. They can work very well. If you have straws, they can also work very well. You just form a triangle, then displace to form a rectangle. As long as you can form a rectangle from that given number, then it is a composite number. If you cannot form a rectangle from, a triangle, from the triangle that you formed, it is not a composite number. So let me give you just a few minutes to go and pick up those items and then we move together. I just put a few numbers here. Now, you don't have to get only six pebbles or six items. Get more items. That way you can be able to form more numbers than I have formed on the screen for you. This is just an example. I want you to form more items. Just like this. Yes? You arrange the numbers into a triangle, then displace them to form a rectangle. If they can't form a rectangle, we have agreed, they don't lie among the composite numbers. If they do form a rectangle, then they are composite numbers. Yes? Okay. Uh, right here in the grocery, I want, you, I want to show you something here. Uh, the commonest words we've seen so far. Uh, right here, we have a few, a, few, a, few, a few things that you have looked at, you have, you have looked at so far. Directed numbers, integers, negative integers, positive integers, and whole numbers. By the end of our two lessons, this lesson and the next lesson, this lesson still continues to the next one. By the end of the next lesson, we should be able to define all these terms, yes? Mathematics, you say there are no words, there are only numbers. True, the numbers. But you have to understand the numbers as well. That's why we're looking at them like this, yes? So that you can be able to understand them very well. By the end of the lesson, we shall be able to understand where, how all these words come about, how directed numbers, integers, negative integers, positive integers, whole numbers, how they come to be. Uh, let me close here. Uh, in case, let me come here and show you something small. You might have forgotten that we have a quiz here. So, in case, you've, in case you, are, you are at home, you feel you're tired of uh, loitering doing, uh, during this time where you're just sitting at home, please open the quizzes and just do the learning mode. Just learn. Just learn freely. You can open any, top, any topic that you want, not necessarily uh, this one. Any topic you want, and then you try out the numbers that are in the quizzes. This, this will help you to keep active and keep doing some work. If you're a parent and uh, you want your child to be active during this time, please get the system, give, the, give your child the laptop or the computer, and let them try to be active. Now, I have a small question for you here. I want you to list more numbers which are triangular and rectangular, yes? There are very many. They can be, they are as many as you want. So, list the first 21 rectangular numbers. 
Someone is saying that is too much mathematics. No, you're, you're sitting at home. This is not, it's not too much math. Math is not cheap. It's just like fun. Yeah, it should be fun. With, with some enjoyment. Just enjoy this. Then I want you to form only 15 triangular numbers. The first 15 triangular numbers. And finally, for square numbers, go as far as forming the first 24 square numbers. Okay, this is S1 work, and I want all of you to be able to, to uh, associate with it. So after you do the, the work, please send me a screenshot of what you've done. Yes, the next week I'll be able to present who has done the work, and I show you how you've done it. Those who have done very well, obviously, you will be thanked on the screen next, next week. Okay, so please, you can try out this exercise right now. You can start right now on your paper. After, you will send a screenshot the WhatsApp number. Now we've come to the end of the lesson, but just to remind you, the software Digital Science and Virtual Lab has over 6,326 videos. And what does that mean? It means that you as a student are going to have more interest in science subjects and math subjects, which will mean that you as a student will be able to pass these subjects with ease. We've come to the end of the show. Head over to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram and look for CSTSUG. Right there, you will be able to have some conversation with us. Until next time, enjoy the rest of your viewing.